Am I the asshole? For ruining my son's sister's first birthday? My ex's new wife called me three weeks ago and said that she just realized her daughter's birthday was on my week. She asked me to please bring my son to the party or drop him off the night before and they'd bring him back the next morning. She was very entitled about it. She presented me with two options when I don't have to do either. I said I would think about it and she got huffy and said he has to be at his little sister's party. I again said I would think about it and she continued to argue, so I hung up. The day before the party I asked my son do you want to go to sister's name s birthday party? He said he did so I texted her to tell her we would be there and asked her for the time of the party. She told me it was at noon. So we got there at 12.30 and there were no other cars, which was weird. When we went inside, my ex said he needed to talk to me and I said that wasn't necessary and asked where the party guests were. He said he needed to prepare me before I saw his wife. I said why, is she pregnant or something? He said she was and I just rolled my eyes. I again asked where the party guests were. He said the party was at 2.00, but they wanted to make sure I had time to put myself together before the party. I told him he needed to quit with the soap opera drama, because I don't have time for it. I took time out of my day to accommodate them, but they blew it. I'm not hanging out with them in an empty house for over an hour, and I'm not wasting gas to leave and come back. I took my son to the park and we had a nice day, but my ex texted me a bunch about how I was punishing his daughter for the pregnancy. I don't care that his wife is pregnant. My only response was a text that said grow up. My son asked about his sister's birthday, and I said there was a mix-up with the party time which is true and they would all celebrate together when he was at his dad's, so he was chill. My mom said I hurt the birthday girl, but she's one. She's not going to notice who is at her party. My mom told me to be the bigger person, but I feel there is a limit to that. I'm not going to reward lying and trickery in my ex any more than I would reward it if my six-year-old did it. Am I the asshole for leaving and not coming back? Going against the grain here but not the asshole they effed around and found out. They were trying to create drama. Who wants to go to their ex's house and sit for two hours? This is on them. If they were so concerned about your reaction they could have told you at any time before the party. Instead orchestrating a plan for you to show up and have time to feel your feelings. You took your kid to the park and had some fun. I say good for you. Not the asshole. I'm grossed out that they told you about her pregnancy like that as if you'd fall all over yourself bc what? Do they think you still want him? They do need to grow up. And if I show up somewhere and I'm hit with a weird ass intervention like this, yes I'd leave too. The son is okay. He didn't get his feelings hurt so emo no harm done. Moral of this story is, now they know that if they lie to get you somewhere, you'll leave. As you should. Not the asshole. Op I think you should edit your post to reflect that you wouldn't drop your son off and leave based on advice from your lawyer. While I personally disagree with that advice, it feels very contentious and tit for tat. None of us know the full situation, and following your lawyer's instructions is always the way to go. As for the prepare yourself and get yourself together comment. Ick. And laughable you were there for his kid's party. Clearly you can handle him having children with other partners. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. They lied and manipulated you. If you have a legal custody agreement, stick to it. Maybe get one of those apps that is court approved for contact between parents. Tell your mother that sometimes being the bigger person allows bullies to continue to be bullies. Don't allow toxicity in your life. Info what is the point of talking to you for two hours before the party? Not the asshole. Could have been honest with you, saying he needed a short talk with you before the party. Two. He could have planned the birthday party when he had his son this is the norm in many divorced families. But why did you need to be there? Couldn't you just have dropped your son off? Not the asshole. The woman who was fucking your husband behind your back now is demanding you bring your son over during your time, 
and then decides to waste a couple extra hours of your day just for funsies? WTF? Not the asshole. It was completely inappropriate for them, them to ask you to come early to put yourself together in their home. They only have themselves and their foolish idea to blame for your son's absence. Not the asshole why do people not understand that sometimes being the bigger person means refusing to accept abuse as normal. Info I am thinking there is more to this. Had to edit. Why would they think you would be upset? Was he cheating on you with this woman? I am not really understanding why they would assume you would freak out over a pregnancy. If little sister is one, is she your son's blood sister? Your ex and the woman he cheated on you with made demands on your time for the one-year-old affair baby sister's sake, then lied to you about that time because they wanted to discuss her new pregnancy with you and make sure you didn't throw a fit. On what planet do these people live? I'd seriously have to cross it off my map of places to visit. Not the asshole. It's not your fault that your co-parenting relationship isn't great. It's your ex's fault. You cannot control what he does. Don't listen to the people saying anything otherwise. You seem to have a grasp on what they're like and handling it was as much grace you can muster. Not the asshole. I don't get why they told you to be there two hours early so that you could adjust to the idea of them having another baby. There is something going on here that we don't have the tea about. Next time, let dad pick and up drop off since that's the normal accommodation and it sounds like you don't want to spend time with them anyway. Not the asshole because that's some serious weird trickery to have you show up two hours early. But you might be tear since you clearly have a problem showing up on time. That is weirdly patronizing. Not the asshole. Not the asshole this was your time, and you were going to bring him to the party until they pulled all this BS. They should have just been upfront with you and also asked and not demanded what you do on your time. Don't let them start dictating your time now because it will never end, and they'll walk all over you. Not the asshole you were the bigger person bringing him in the first place. They were rude enough to play games with you. I would have taken my kid and left too. Not the asshole. Hope you got some angry responders today. Not the asshole and don't take their terrible advice. Not the asshole. Everyone in the comments saying you need to work with your ex is missing the point emo. You did work with your ex, you agreed to bring your son to the birthday party and attempted to fulfill it. Ex chose to lie about the time and waste your time for reason, that makes her an asshole not you. You should have offered condolences instead. I would hate to be married to her, or him. Not the asshole. Their child from the affair is one and she's pregnant again? Yikes. Not the asshole. Definitely follow your custody arrangements to the letter. They're both dramatic. Not the asshole. They could have told you over the phone. They didn't need to tell you to show up two hours early. They chose to waste your time and try to make you spend more time where you don't want to be. I'm not sure why your lawyer advised you never to leave your child there during your time, but I won't fault you for following legal advice. Not the asshole. 